All right, back again, Luke here. And today, what we're looking at is a new arcade project. That is this monster here. This is a System 357 arcade board made by Namco. And this board here is essentially a PlayStation 3. This was used in the arcades uh, to support such games as Tekken 6, and another one being Deadwater Pirates or Dead Storm Pirates. It's a pretty powerful system, but uh, as you can see, this one here has seen better days. This one is pretty much fried. Um, all of the heat and everything that uh, got to this caused it to actually roast on the inside here. And uh, it's not, uh, not one of those projects where you can go into it knowing that it's going to work again when you get done with it, but it's something where I'm going to try and give it a shot here. You can see it's, uh, it's got some dings and dents and it's just one filthy mess here. But uh, this one actually had or has uh, Tekken 6 in it. And what I'm going to try and do is see if I can get this thing running again. Uh, what I'm going to do is just strip everything down. We'll take out all the parts. We'll take a look at the motherboard. Take a look at the, uh, the heat sink. Um, we'll do what we have to do in order to, you know, get the thing back up into at least a uh, functioning state, and then we'll go from there. There's no telling even if the hard drive is still functioning with this one, or even if it's still in there. Uh, I do have the dongle for it. As you can see, the dongle's even seen better days. Uh, it's quite yellowed, so... Nonetheless, we're going to try and see what we can do with this one here, and uh, we'll do a step-by-step -step type of thing so you guys can see exactly what processes go through this to get it back to a semi-decent looking or semi-functioning state. As of right now, it doesn't turn on at all. Uh, there is absolutely no power that is going to this thing, so uh, yeah, we can't do anything. I can't show you anything special with this one here, but hopefully within the next couple of videos we can try and get this thing patched up and get it working again. So. This is the first part here, and the next step, what I'm going to do is try and open this thing up so we can get a better look on the inside. So, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so as you can see here, we've pulled off the top cover. It just pops right off. There were uh, about five screws in there. One of them uh, was missing. So, I got this open. Luckily, the hard drive is still in there. You can see it says Tekken 6 on there, TE6. So, that's still in there, no telling if it still works. It's uh, quite yellowed or quite brown here due to the heat, the extreme heat and temperature that has gotten to this. Probably the camera doesn't pick it up exactly the way it looks here, but it is really, really brown, um, like a smoke color. So the next thing we're going to do is disconnect these front cables here for the USB. We'll disconnect the fan, disconnect the hard drive here, remove the hard drive, and then try and remove the bottom tray here. So we'll get on that and be back in a few. All right, so we've gotten the uh, the rest of the board here out of the case. I don't know what's going on here. It looks like somebody's actually taking a hammer to it. Uh, this is the power supply here. It's got a huge gouge along the bottom, a couple of them, and a, a huge dent right in here on the inside of that. If you look at the board itself or the casing, it's pretty bent out of shape. This thing's missing some rivets, uh, some pop rivets that were in it. Uh, the metal casing itself is shifted, so it's not exactly straight. That could have been some of the issue, but and this thing was definitely worked on and taken out several different times for uh, who knows what reasons, but it's uh, in pretty rough shape here. And the top part, if we take a look at the top part as well, you can also see that uh, the screw here, maybe the screw head, uh, is a bit stripped, so somebody has tried to crank down on that probably hoping that a little bit of added pressure around the top of this would cause the uh, system to fire back on again. But it's going to need more work than that, that's for sure. Probably going to need... Um, the best case scenario would be to reball the, uh, the GPU and uh, the CPU on this thing. But, unfortunately, we're not going to do that. Um, I'm just going to try and see about... Uh, heating it up and we'll see how it goes. A lot of people will say, oh, it doesn't work. It's a waste of time. It'll break again, but it actually does work as long as you, uh, you know, how much heat to apply to it, how long you apply the heat to it, and, uh, you know, what kind of 
uh, temperature conditions you're going to be using it, how often you're going to be using it. It works out quite well, at least for a lot of the boards that I have, it still worked out really well. So we're going to go ahead and do that with this one too. We might have to replace the power supply. I have a couple of PS3 power supplies, so we'll check out the pinout and see how, uh, how the other ones look, and then we'll probably swap it out if needed. I don't know, I guess we can test it and see if this one works, but yeah, that's the next spot uh, or the next uh, step that we'll take here is try and get everything else removed and then we'll take a look at the board. So be back in a little bit. So as you can see here, we've got everything stripped down now. Uh, I can take this frame and try and bend it back into shape and clean it up a bit. Uh, if you guys can see here, here's one of the posts that was completely bent downward. Um, this thing has been dropped or something, uh, just really roughly put back together. But uh, this bracket here, the one that's been up, was for this daughter board which controls a lot of the video functions on it. So hopefully that's in one piece. Hopefully it'll work. We'll have to take a look at the fan here, take that all apart. Once again, there's the hard drive and there's the motherboard sitting over there. Here's the heat sink, which you can see the, uh, the paste on the top here has pretty much hardened. Um, it's a little, it's got a little bit of a tack to it, but not very much. And the inside of the case, I'm gonna have to remove this fan here as well, but we'll take this case out, try and bend this one back into shape. And then we'll try and see if we can get all these parts to go back in and out really easily. So we don't have to worry about any other trouble that could happen with this. Um, just putting it back together, I think this would have a, a lot of issues if we don't get it back together right. So. I'm gonna try and make sure that everything's all straightened out and then we'll go from there. So next thing we'll go on to is trying to clean up the case and bend that back and then we'll go and work on the motherboard. So I'll be back in a bit. So one of the first things we're gonna do here to uh, clean this up is we're gonna remove all these unnecessary stickers. This one especially because this one is actually prohibiting more airflow that could get to the motherboard and uh, it's restricting it quite a bit so we're going to remove that take that off there as well as the other ones up here and we're going to take this into the uh, the shower i guess and use some steel wool and try and get this thing to shine up a bit better uh, won't be able to fix everything but it should make it quite a bit better so we'll do that next uh, get on this thing and get that off it's probably going to not come off so easily but we'll try it nonetheless be back in a bit Okay, so here you can see we've got the top part of the lid in the bathroom. Uh, this is in the, uh, the bathtub. And what we're going to do is try and scrub this down with some steel wool. I've opened up the grate here on the front and we'll go around this whole thing see if we can get it to polish up. So this is a bit of a before and after. The other parts too are still very, very dirty. And I can put those in here I suppose as well. Let's see other one maybe we'll just do these two first but yeah you can definitely see there's a huge difference um, yeah <laughs> from the the whiteness of the bats up here to these dirty monsters but we'll get on this I'll be back in a little bit hopefully we'll see a big improvement with both of these so see you in a bit okay so as you can see here we've got the case outside and this is how it shined up nice and uh, sparkly it does have some parts where um, you know it just didn't come out as well as what I had hoped it would but still not too bad everything's you know got an aluminum look to it what I'm gonna do next here is if you notice with the labels they're a bit uh, brown so what I'm gonna do is using some oxidol I'm gonna put this over all of the labels here and leave it out here outside for I don't know a couple hours or so and that should bring the uh, whiteness back. Oxidol is really good especially uh, using it on labels. Um, just let it soak in there a bit. It'll bring the, the whiteness back. So if you guys have any brown colored labels that you want to bring back like on old PCs and stuff, let's put some uh, Oxidol on there. Let it sit for a while and it should make those a little bit lighter. But we'll leave this out here. We'll come back. We're gonna go back inside and try and work on the rest of the, uh, the board and uh, come back in a bit and check on this. So, see you in a bit. Okay, so while the cage is outside drying, what I'm gonna do next is start working on the motherboard here. And the first thing we'll have to do is remove any of this thermal paste. And I'll use some rubbing alcohol to get that off. The other chips here, they don't have any thermal paste on them. They use uh, like thermal pads instead. So, this one here looks a bit scratched up. I don't know exactly why, you know, obviously this thing's been taken apart, but I don't know to what extent it's been worked on, so 
We'll try and clean this up a bit and then we're going to run the heat gun over this and uh, through a series of uh, heating and cooling uh, we'll see if we can get this thing to get back uh, down on the board and everything kind of sealed together and then we'll put it back together and see how it goes but I'll get on that next and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to take a look at here is this giant heat sink that goes on the top here. As you can see, the fan has left a nice outline here. So what we're going to have to do is try and scrub this up. Once again, we probably will go with a bit of steel wool, but with this one, I think we'll go with a wire brush to see if we can get this uh, cleaned up a bit better. So I'm going to get on that right now, and we'll come back, and hopefully it'll come back a little bit cleaner. As you can see, it's got some groove marks here in the top of it but uh, should come back a little bit nicer we'll uh, we'll give it a shot and see okay so as you can see here it looks like the uh, oxidol helped out a little bit unfortunately I don't have any sunlight today so it's not gonna get very very white but it's definitely whitened up certain areas on, uh, on top you can see some of the differences here but uh, we're gonna bring this back inside and then we'll get on the reassembly process of this so let's go get on that Okay, so for the next step here, if you remember this bottom bracket here, it was missing one of the rivets on the bottom, which is broken out. So I've got my pop riveter here, and I've got a uh, pop rivet that should fit in there quite nicely. So we'll uh, try to get this in here. Make sure we got this nice and tight up against there. Should normally be doing this with two hands, but hey, this is fun. And there we go. So it's back up there. Should be uh, should be good. I'll definitely keep it back in place. So we've got uh, that all taken care of. Now what I'll have to do is go ahead and start reassembling everything. And I'll get on that right now. Be back in a bit. Okay, so we've got everything kind of put back together here. Um, one thing I did notice when I was doing um, the cleaning and trying to repair the top part here, I noticed that the wires here that went down to the video board were actually uh, ripped out. So I went and used a little bit of hot glue, put that back on there. It's the whole casing that had ripped off. And uh, there were two posts that it was originally on, but the positive post looked like it was ripped out. So I had to move it around a little bit here to get it to go back into place, but that should be all right. That might've been a possible problem. I'm not sure yet, but we'll have to go ahead and test it out once we get everything put back together. Uh, the next thing will be to put this thing back inside the case, hook up the fans, put the other top fan on here, and uh, then power it up and see if it gets any power. So those are the next steps. We'll get on that, and I'll be back in a little bit. All right, guys, so a very strange setup here, but if we listen here, we have music. Let's see, we have this guy down here. And here's our monitor. It's alive. Tekken 6. So, finally working. It's back together. It's back from the dead. <laughs> like whatever you want to call it. It's alive now. So, good old Tekken 6. I haven't tried to uh, to give it a ready for the next battle. To give it a shot yet here, but it is currently working. So some people may be wondering why it's hooked up to this monitor here and it's not hooked up to the, uh, the Blast City. Main reason for it is this system runs off of uh, HDMI, needs an HDMI cable to run through it. And this setup here doesn't have an HDMI input. Now if I can find an adapter, I think I'll be able to wire it into the Blast City, possibly, but I have an adapter here on my monitor which is allowing me to uh, go from HDMI to DVI, so that's why I'm allowed to uh, able to play it on this. But this is too awesome. It's finally alive. About a day's worth of work here to try and get everything working, but uh, yeah, definitely getting there. Actually, I think I might have to go in here and try and see if I can set it to free play and then give it a go because I don't think that the coin in is going to work. I think you give it a try, I guess. Oh, I guess it does work. So, two coins. Let's, uh, let's hit the old start button. 
It does work. Excellent. Woo! -hoo. Tekken 6 is alive. Get ready for the next battle. So yeah, nonetheless, just figured I'd show you guys this uh, awesome adventure here with the Namco System 357. And we are ready to rock. So this is going to be super cool. But nonetheless, we'll get on this uh, eventually, do some gameplay for it, but I figured I'd show you what's going on with the system, and that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so thanks for watching. Need to hook up my kick harness. See you guys soon.